I've learned it's important not to limit yourself. You can do whatever you really love to do, no matter what it is. To watch a master work at anything is a privilege. For now, I'm just going to keep doing the work and hope I don't get fired. If people want to put me up on their walls, I'll love it. The theme for me is love and the lack of it. We all want that and we don't know how to get it, and everything we do is some kind of attempt to capture it for ourselves. I feel there is something nice about not talking. Like you can say more by actually saying less. I don't think anyone can teach you how to be a man but a woman. You only learn by learning what they need. You know how sometimes department stores have these things where, if you win, you get 10 minutes to go in and take anything you want from the store. That's basically what I'm doing. I'm running in and just trying to grab as many characters as possible before they pull the plug on me. Acting isn't that hard, really. I mean, I think that people make a big deal about it, but you just kind of try to say your lines naturally. If the character is true, the movie will fall into place. Or at least that's what you hope. Talking about muscles. They're like pets basically. They're not worth it. You have to feed them all the time and take care of them, and if you don't, they just go away they run away. I think it's more interesting to see people who don't feel appropriately. I relate to that, because sometimes I don't feel anything at all for things I'm supposed to, and other times I feel too much. It's not always like it is in the movies. It's not good just to have life experience of filmmaking and that's all. It's hard to play a real person when you've been in jets and town cars for three years. You can't make a movie for everybody. You can't go into it trying to alienate people, but you have to assume that you're going to. I think we just knew that we had a movie when Rachel walked in the room. The thing that's so exciting when you're making a film is that it can be anything and there are no limitations on it. In New York, you're forced to deal with life, it's there in front of you on a daily basis. I think we're very complicated and we're capable of all kinds of things, and movies don't reflect that. Freedom is such a gift. I don't even think of myself as particularly good looking, and not at all a typical kind of Hollywood leading man sort of actor. I sometimes forget to have breakfast in the morning, but when I actually buy a box of cereal, I will probably eat it not only for breakfast but also as a snack later on. 
if you're making a movie about the effects of time, you kind of have to engage time as the main character. In some way, the relationship between a director and an actor is personal. I started reading all these men's magazines, trying to follow all the tips, what you're supposed to wear, what you're supposed to have, things you're supposed to say, and all the exercises you're supposed to do. It's conflict and it's compromise, and it's just, it's new every time. It's brand new every night. It's very, very exciting. You could just write your own rules. You know, write something that's as interesting as you are. They worship everything and they value nothing. So you're telling me you made a porno where the plot is the point. The whole town's underwater. You're grabbing a bucket when you should be grabbing a bathing suit. You know what the funny thing about earthquakes is. After an earthquake you see people pulling other people out of broken down buildings and people hugging in junk because they saw a little girl's shoe in the middle of the road and no little girl around. Then a couple days later they forget all about it. Let me put it this way. I'm standing in front of a burning house and I'm offering you fire insurance on it. All my characters are me. I'm not a good enough actor to become a character. I hear about actors who become the role and I think, I wonder what that feels like. Because for me, they're all me. The theme for me is love and the lack of it. We all want that and we don't know how to get it, and everything we do is some kind of attempt to capture it for ourselves. I think the law of attraction comes from a rich, white, privileged perspective. It was a strange experience making a love story and not getting along with your co-star in any way. <laughs>